All right, guys, welcome back. So, out here in the sound, I'm with Dan. We've got Dan from Fishing Accomplished with me, and you know we're in a new area. We're gonna test out some uh, some new bottom, and then go for some new boulders. You know, maybe some ledges. But goal is sea bass, maybe fluke. And the water temps are 70, 71. So they dropped a little bit with the uh, storm. You know, we just had a big storm offshore. It's basically mid-September, so this is when things start changing. You know, falls, falls here, or it's starting. Definitely cool. Definitely a cooler morning. All right, so what's to try first? I'm gonna go with a more subtle present tea. Um, I didn't mark it. No, not yet. Let's start with this jig worm. Looks like Dan has found some fish. And that's the <clears throat> beauty of working together too. You know, one guy gets fish. You can work two different areas and so once you start catching, move to the to the area. Did you get a keeper? All right. Oh, that's good. That's a good sign too to catch like the first one as a keeper. The purple, a purple paddle tail. Purple tail. Nice. You can keep six. <laughs> if you can catch six, you can keep six. <laughs> Still haven't caught anything. Was getting quite a few bites though. Just pulling at the tail. Which tells me they're not big fish. This bottom looks really good, but just haven't marked much bait or anything. There we go. Got one. Yeah, it's fouled, I think. Whoa, weak fish. Sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. No, weak fish. Yeah. Little baby. Starting to mark clouds of bait. That is always a good sign. Fluke? Interesting. Um, here and there. It's very sporadic. I, I'm marking bait here now. Oh, dang, that felt good. I'm gonna try this. I have a feeling these fish will, will hit a smaller profile. I got something. This feels pretty good. I think this is a weak fish. I think it's a big weak fish. I think. Yeah, with a small little jerk shed. I think it's a weak fish, man. Yep, huge weak fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Dang, man. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. About 24. About 24. That's what got it. Just simple green jerk shed. No, kind of out of nowhere, but I, I am marking like clouds of bait here and there. Yeah, this is, a, I, it could completely just turn on like crazy. This is like the perfect spot if it's ripping too, but you just do wrong ripping. Yep. Yeah. What's nice about using this smaller profile out here in the deeper is that it doesn't seem to be a lot of porgy, so that's why it's working out. Hard to make that, it's hard to make it look good though with a heavy weight. It's the only downside. Sometimes you drop shot, it might work better. Whoa! Wow! I think I got another one. Yeah. Dude, it almost took my rod out of my hand. Definitely a nice sweet fish. It's got that fluke head shake and like striped bass type bruns. Oof, deep head shake. Oh my. drumming male what a beauty absolutely inhaled it Oof. Than the last one? yeah definitely he's drumming too so he's definitely a male yeah, it's about 25. 25? 25. Man, what a take though, dude. No, <laughs> not at all. And then there's still a nice little rough patch here that I want to try. You really, really have no like bad area here. Yeah, I don't think you can do wrong here. I think it's only going to improve with the tide, not, not the Yeah, I agree. This kind of bouldery stuff though does remind me more of like the western sound than in like the middle sound where I am. Yeah. Where, where I have been finding sea bass and stuff. Big black fish just like looking at me. I feel like I'm right off the structure. I was marking it when we were coming up. That'll explain it. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the good highway. This <laughs> like, sounds like absolutely terrible. <laughs> it's, that's such a chore. I'll keep it see Robin. Decent sea bass. Oh. Not a keeper though. I just got like a 14 inch sea bass. Good sign. Pretty much same depth, 
47 feet. I'm just moving myself along the ledge here. Just trying to cover more bottom. Current's definitely picking up. Hmm. I think the bait's messed up. The bait's gone. I'm gonna do that one more time. Definitely a porgy. Big porgy. Big porgy hooked weird. He's letting out gases. I'm gonna keep him though because I'm not doing great on the sea bass. Just bleed him out. I'm gonna just keep going shallower. I've got a really good feeling about this rock. I bet you there's a sea bass on this one. Down there. Yeah. Got him. Oh. No. Yes, he came back. Oh. Spit out a crab of some kind. Nope. Not even a keeper. It's like 16. Oh well. Yeah, this wind just completely laid out. You fishing uh, the worm again? Yeah. Yeah, I tried fishing a little like jerk shad type thing. Um, Did you get more bite? It's got little heads, they shoot the tail off. Yeah. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Jigging with a. There's a lot of little semi toothy critters too around. Yeah. I saw an osprey that had some kind of small silver root bird down. Probably a little blue bird. Hmm. Have you been marking anything like every so often I'll just see a bunch of fish on the surf not on the surface, but marking a bunch of streaks. No, I haven't marked anything like that. I've just been marking like small blue fish or something. Yeah, probably. Switch to this uh kind of like a pinkish white jerk shad. We're in 40 feet. Still using a three quarter ounce. Probably can go lighter now that I'm controlling the drift. There we go. Okay. This is something decent. I'm getting food fights, man. I don't know what people disagree. <laughs> now, 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 now it looks like a sea bass. <laughs> oh, no. It's only 15 and a half. This thing's fight like crazy. Pretty close, yeah. Put the underwater down, but it's definitely too black to see anything. It's too dark because 40 feet, you need the water to be very clear. And the water is not clear today. So we're just gonna keep fishing until we you know, if we move into like 30 feet, I'll try the camera again, but unfortunately, 
Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get much underwater today. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Ah, oh, why do I keep dropping these fish? Nice. Keeper? I'm pretty sure this was not the guy. All right, hide. let's do it. I'm gonna go check it out. If you want to come, you can. It's up to you. I just feel like we might not get sea bass, but I feel like the weak fish are gonna be over there now. Yeah. So if you want to just check this out, I'll, I'll uh, come back in a little bit. All right. Whatever. Not a whole lot of big ones on the um, random boulders, so we're gonna go into like more of the ledgy boulders, where there's smaller ones but more frequent. That's where yeah. And we got those weak fish earlier. I might see some streaks here at the top. We're over top of the rocks now. sea bass. Maybe even a little bit better. Oof. Feels decent. Definitely feels decent. Might keep. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Finally. Yeah, that's a good one. The weird thing is, like, some of these other smaller ones I've been catching fought just as hard. 18 and a half. 18 and a half inch sea bass. Nice. I don't see many rocks on this over here though. I just went over one big one. Okay. This is basically the top of the ladder, so keep working my way back that way. Okay. We can like leapfrog each other, I guess. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll start this way a there. tiny bit more. I do think the water has cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. It's not makes sense incoming. Yeah. There's so much good looking stuff here. And bait too. Bait, contours, structure. Current. Yeah, everything. It's everything you look for. The whole month of October and take away the April season. Ooh. That's bass. Nice. Fifteen. Let's try that. Trying the metal jig with the piece of gulp. Ooh, that was a hit. Ooh. 
Ooh, I got something decent. Holy cow. I got something big. Oh, maybe it's a bluefish then. This could be a blue. Oh, no, I just lost it too. Honestly, dude, it could have been a weak fish. Dang, man. No, I lost it. It didn't look that big. It had a broader, um, it wasn't slender. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's weird though. Well, what could it be? That's hard to say, man. Oh. It's a nice one? It's probably short, but. What? No, oh, that, that's not a short. I don't think this will be good. I don't think this will be good. I knew I'd want something. Like you say, man, you gotta be like a surgeon on these rocks. Yeah. Definitely put the sea bath and stay in, but it's coming home with me. It's a weak fish. Oh, it's a weak fish? <laughs> Oh, big weak fish. That could have been what we built. Wow, look at that thing. Yeah, it could have been. Wow. That is a good one. That's easy, six, seven pounder. Wow. I really thought this was going to be a sea bass, man. Yeah, I did too. It just shows how strong sea bass are. That like. A weak fish that size. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. I'm marking more fish down there too, I think. I mean, he wasn't alone. This is risky business on my part. Ooh, you got it out just in time. Oh yeah, there's marks down there. I'm gonna get in the water for a second. I'm gonna kill this fish. Oh, I just had a hit. Well, I guess I got some redemption. Yeah, for sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, saw that? Good call on coming back here. That's probably 100% what happened to both of us. Yeah, it was. Okay, you're free. It's down. Yeah, down. Goodbye. Were you really marking it? Should we go I back? definitely marked. I'm actually seeing some, drop it down, see what happens. Sure. Oh yeah, I see two very distinct marks. Yeah, I see the marks. Oh, yeah, they smacked it. I going down too. I wasn't fully all the way to the bottom. Ooh, dang, dude. This is ad pick up thing, but it's nice. It's another weak fish? No. Not a porgy. <laughs> Unless it's a giant porgy. Yeah, it's a weak fish. <laughs> no. Oh, right next to it. Dude. Oh really? It's gone now. I just connected with a decent one too. Nice. You gotta love that done. That feels good, dude. Wow. Dude, there's so many on the boat right now. Oh my goodness. Dude, we might have a 30 inch here. It's a pinky beetle. Dude. Might be a bass. Might 
might be tail hooked too. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, he might be foul hooked or something. Even still, though, that's still a big fish. Alright, we just got our fish back and Peter's on like a El Chipiente right there. I don't know, I just felt the mouth. I felt like a head shake, dude. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> They're still down there, man. Back down. This picture. No, I just pulled the hook. I just had a feeling that was gonna happen because it's just too many, too many big head shakes, you know. This is a good rod for this, but this this is not a good reel. This is not a great drag. Dude, they're still so thick under the boat. Oh, I just hit it again. Man, when these guys want to feed, they want to feed. Dude, that might have been a 30 inch, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I do think it was definitely a PB. <laughs> I just had so many runs. So many big runs. I'm gonna try and go back. Kind of drift it off the. Alright, let's go back. Alright, we're still yeah. there. I think that's what the hardest part about these fish, too, is not only that, that they are hard to find sometimes, but. They get away pretty easily. They easy get right? away, yeah, exactly. I've like lost, it's... So whenever I get into them like this, I lose probably half the fish I hook into. <laughs> At least I don't feel alone in that. So I'm having some camera issues, but looks like we came off the weak fish school. We're trying to find them again. That's a good fish. How's that feel? Yeah, it feels decent. Did you confirm with your eyes before me? No, not yet. Alright. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> oh. Alright. Keep him. It's kind of hard to figure out these approaches now. The tide, tide's like not doing much anymore. Let's put some scent in there because, heck, why not? There we go. It's not small. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. Sixteen. That's a nice one. the drop oh my gosh oh yeah nice sea bass He's gonna be a keeper though. He's pretty much 16 and a half. Well, it's too close. He's basically 16 and a half, but it's just too close. Nice fish. Yo! Yo! Been having some uh, camera issues. I went on my own looking for sea bass. Just only got a couple of shorts, but it seems like Dan 
Dan's been catching them. Let's see what he's got. There's a couple of rocks around here, so. That's why I called you over. It's like, if they're on this rock, I'm sure they're on these other rocks. Too. We tried here, too. I gave these both, I gave all these rocks a try, but I didn't give them enough time. One of those is really nice. Yeah, they're both not that long, they're really fat. Dude, really fat. that's a nice one, though. Is that like a 19? It's only like 18. 18? Like, it's an actual 18, it's not a fin 18, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm not like seeing any marks in this rock. I know that they are. They're probably hiding in the crevices. Exactly. Good? Yeah. Okay, I think it's just a porgy though. A giant porgy. Whew. Yeah, it's all right. I'm keeping fish, so I'll keep them. All right, this is the last drift. We're on this little rock here. I'm just gonna try and get a sea bass, see if there's any lone sea bass on this thing and then we're gonna head in definitely a couple of fish on this piece Ooh. Oh, my goodness, I've lost too many fish today. Same too. If I could get this guy in, I'm going home. Oh, I lost it. I, I give up. This is so bad. I have lost so many fish today. A really good day, all things considered, you know, especially trying a new area for the first time. But uh, yeah, Dan did really good. He caught four keeper sea bass. I got one, and he let me have one of his, so that was really nice. Thank you again, Dan. And yeah, we just did really good on weak fish. I think that was the uh, most surprising thing of the day, was just the weak fish bite was unreal for you know a good 15, 20 minutes. And unfortunately, I lost that really big one. So that's gonna haunt me for a little bit, but oh well, it happens, and I'm just gonna have to get back out and try it again. Definitely dropped a you know a couple keeper sea bass, but uh, I guess that's just how it goes. So we'll have to get them next time. Looking forward to getting back out there with Dan. So I almost always uh, cook these whole, unless I catch a bunch of them. Then you know I'll probably flay them just to expedite things. But if I just get one or two, I'm almost always gonna either cook it whole or cook it with the skin on. So after scaling it, uh, I will take the guts out. I'll also take the gills out, as you're seeing here. So just, you know, you're kind of dressing it, uh, but that's about it. And then I'll cut the fins off. And then depending on the size of the fish, uh, we'll usually cut it in half so that it just fits easier in, you know, in the frying pan. Uh, but here you're seeing we're just salting it, you know, just coating the fish with a good layer of salt. And don't be scared to use it because it doesn't really turn the whole fish that salty. And that's actually it. There's no other seasoning that goes on this. We got the heat turned up pretty high. 
We're using canola oil, but I'm sure you could use other high heat types of oil. We want to high heat the outside, but gonna burn, uh, it's gonna crispy, and then the inside is not gonna be like overcooked. So this is the sauce that Filipinos typically will eat the fish and rice with. It's just soy sauce, uh, spice vinegar, and those are some onions. Hi. <laughs> Yeah. See what it looks like. It's really good. Mm. It's crispy. The saltiness too on the skin is just amazing. Even the eyes are gone, huh? Yeah. It's a best part though. The and you get the cheap the meat and yeah. Mm. That really is the way to do sea bass. Just salted in a high heat. That's it. So they're so simple. It doesn't need any other flavoring. 